experiment E1 by E2 using potentiometer. There are two methods, one is individual cell method, this is diagram for this and second is sum and difference method. Right now we are focusing on only individual cell method or we also called as separate cell method. Apparatus for individual cell method we have E1, E2, this is our E1 that is Lachlan's cell where zinc rod act as a negative, carbon rod act as a positive, this is E2 where copper vessel act as a positive and zinc rod act as a negative. So, in both the cases zinc rod, this is our zinc rod which act as negative and this act as a positive. Okay. Key K1 and K2, this is K1 and K2, galvanometer, this as our galvanometer, we have galvanometer, then battery, plug key and rheostat. Here we have battery, plug key, for this plug key is not required because this act as a plug key as a switch on and off and this is our or rheostat. So, when you are connecting any electric circuit diagram, keep the apparatus as shown in the diagram. Already I did, I kept this as a potentiometer which has a length of 200, this potentiometer has a length of four, sorry, 400 centimeter. So, you can see this is potentiometer which has a length of 400 centimeter. This terminal I can say act as a A, this terminal act as a B. We arrange the apparatus as shown in the diagram. First we have this is potentiometer. This is our potentiometer which you can see terminal A, terminal B and the length of this total is 400 centimeter. We arrange cell E1 and E2 as shown in the diagram. Plug key K1, plug key K2 and then galvanometer. From galvanometer we will connect jockey. This side we have a, our battery and a rheostat. Now we will do the connection. Now in connection if you see carefully at terminal A there are three wires, one is from positive of E2, one is from positive of E1 and one is from positive of battery to terminal A. So at A we have three wires, if you see at terminal A we connected three wires, one is from positive of battery, so positive of battery is connected to A. Second positive of E2 is connected to A and this positive is also connected to A. So, at terminal A we have three positives E1 positive, E1 positive, E2 positive and battery positive. Then negative of E1 and E2 is connected to plug key and second of plug key is connected to galvanometer. So, negative of E1 and negative of E2 is connected to K1 and K2 and second end of K1 and K2 is connected to galvanometer. You can see from second end of galvanometer is connected to jockey as per our diagram. Now from terminal A positive is connected, negative is connected to plug key, then rheostat and second end of rheostat is variable is connected to terminal B. If you see negative of battery is connected to fixed terminal, this is negative battery which is connected to fixed terminal of rheostat and variable, this variable is connected to B terminal, variable is connected to B terminal. So, if you see the entire connection from upper side it is something like this, you can make out. Okay. Now, now for reading part, I already took readings, I am just explaining now. Balancing length when E1 is in the circuit and balancing length when E2 is in the circuit. First we will keep E1 in the circuit. To keep E1 in the circuit, we will keep this plug key closed. So now E1 in circuit, plug key K2 is open. 
so only we have e1 in circuit when e1 in circuit find the balancing length balancing length means where galvanometer shows the null deflection we'll take jockey and keep one end of the jockey we'll say deflection in one side of galvanometer you can see if you tap jockey on other end that means this is a one zero and this side is 400 if you see the total length is 400 that means from here start zero to 100 on first wire second wire 101 to 200 third wire 201 to 300 and fourth wire will say 301 to 400 I repeat first wire it starts 0 from here 0 to 100 till here here 101 to 200 from here 201 to 300 and last wire 301 to 400 so keep jockey at the starting point that means on first wire starting we will see deflection galvanometer on one side you can see deflection on one side then keep jockey on fourth wire you will see deflection on opposite side that means your connection is proper if you are getting deflection on only one side then adjust the position of reverse state adjust the position of reverse state find the balancing length where galvanometer shows the null deflection that means pointer must be on 0 0 <coughs> if you see we will place starting point of the wire we will see deflection on it's not 0 right we will keep here still it is not 0 keep this jockey on first wire till we will get balancing length ok I am just moving this on first wire still we are getting deflection on one side in second wire still no balancing point so balancing point is somewhere here if you see now yes here we got the balancing point you see the pointer exactly on zero agree if you see now we will note down this reading. Jo reading aega, wo reading we lik lenge. This reading is approximately 14. This is on second wire. So length is this is 100 and this is 14. So 114. So first length is our 114. I already wrote here 114. Now E2 in the circuit. For E2 in the circuit, we will remove the plug key from E1 and we will connect plug key in E2. That means this cell now is in the circuit same way you will find the balancing length a first wire starting galvanometer showing deflection on one side then second wire sorry same wire we will move this jockey on wire till we will get balancing length where i am getting now you see yahan pe mujhe mil balancing length agree on first wire itself we will note down this length what is length it's approximately, I'm getting here somewhere, 89. Jo bhi length aega, you will write here. So this length, I wrote L2. This is first set of reading. For second set of reading, what you will do, we'll change the position of reverse state. This position. Isko hum thoda sa change kar denge. Okay. And then again, the same procedure. Keep jockey on one side and see the balancing length right I hope so students you got the procedure how exactly you are supposed to perform now here I am getting balancing length you see note down this length ye jo bhi length aega, will note down this length agree in second part for connect the cell A2 we will remove this sorry this was reading for E2 because my U2 connect E1 ke liye mujhe isko connect karna padega. We'll connect for E1, right? Procedure again remains the same. Normally, students first you take E1 and then you will go for E2. E1 ka reading lene ke liye keep the plug key in E1 to take the reading in E2. Keep the plug key in E2. Remove from E1 and keep to E2. Procedure again remains the same. Jaha pe will get deflection galvanometer zero. That is our balancing length. You see. First wire pe kahin pe bhi nahi aaya. Second wire.
ना एट दिस पॉइंट एट दिस पॉइंट आई एम गेटिंग डिफ्लेक्शन जीरो ये जो भी लेंथ रहेगा विल नोट डाउन दिस रैंक दिस लेंथ हियर फॉर ई वन यू विल राइट हियर फॉर यू टू विल राइट हियर फॉर थर्ड रिंग वॉट यू विल डू अगेन चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ रिओस्टेड पोजिशन ऑफ रिओस्टेंट विल चेंज राइट फॉर फर्स्ट रीडिंग देन सेकेंड रीडिंग देन यू कैन से थर्ड रीडिंग इन द सेम मैनर फर्स्ट विल कनेक्ट प्लग की इन ई वन नोट डाउन द बैलेंसिंग लेंथ देन विल रिमूव फ्रॉम ईयर विल कनेक्ट इन ई टू नोट डाउन द बैलेंसिंग लेंथ सो वंस यू गॉट द रीडिंग फॉर एल वन एंड एल टू देन कैलकुलेशन फॉर ई वन बाय ई टू सिंपली यू विल डिवाइड दिस अपॉन दिस दिस अपॉन दिस दिस अपॉन दिस वॉट आर आंसर यू विल गेट यू विल राइट हियर एंड मीन ऑफ दिस यू विल राइट हियर ओके स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू यू कैन सी द सेटिंग अरेंजमेंट